This video is sponsored by NBA 2K. I've got a ton of my career information for NBA 2K19, so I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm not gonna waste any time. First, let's talk about the prelude. Your level of play is gonna dictate the amount of teams that are interested in you. And a major factor is gonna be, does that team need your position? So if you're a point guard, don't expect the Golden State Warriors to come calling. They've got Chef Curry. They ain't looking for a point guard. This is the same way for all the other positions. All the teams, they're going to be looking to fill in needs. The high interest teams, they're going to offer you more minutes, a higher base salary, a better role. You could get a key reserve role. You could get 20 minutes right off the bat. Or if you go to a team that's not really as interested, maybe you only get eight minutes a game off the bat. And maybe you're not a key reserve. You're a bench warmer. And then, of course, when you're actually negotiating the contract, you're not going to have as much leeway with that team if they're not interested in the first place. So that's a very interesting part of this whole process. You get to fool with your base salary. You can change the amount of years that you want the contract to be. Hey, maybe you don't want to go four years. Maybe you want to go one year so you can be a free agent after your first season. Maybe you want a VC multiplier for your teammate grade. So if you take something or if you add something, you got to give something back. You got to take salary away. So this is interesting. And if you're too aggressive, a team will pass on you. They will just take their offer off the table and you'll have to go try to negotiate with another team. So be careful negotiating. Don't get too greedy. Next up, we've got to talk player progression. The XP that you need to unlock more attribute cap slots. It's called my points. And if you saw in the trailer, you get a daily spin every day and some days you'll just get my points. So that's gonna be XP that increases the bar. That's just gonna help you level up faster, it's easier. The good news is that badge progression is gonna be a lot faster this year because when you're in practice, the drills are one-to-one. -one. So if you pick the ankle breaker drill, you're only gonna be working on ankle breaker. As long as you're doing the drill correctly, you're gonna get XP for the exact badge that you're trying to work on. You're no longer gonna be in the practice menu picking drills and then sometimes you don't get any for the one that you want because they have a whole bunch and it's all bundled together and you don't have to try to figure out which drill is the best one to get this and it's not gonna be difficult, it's not gonna be stressful, it's gonna be very easy and straightforward. And the menu system is a lot faster. So right after you finish a game, for instance, you can go straight to the practice mode. You can go straight to the gym, start working on badges, or you can go straight to the next game. You don't have to load in and load out of the park and then walk over there. You can just jump right into the practice gym after a game. You can go right to the next game. It's nice. Every practice, you're gonna get four drills that you can work on, and you don't have to go to that little lemonade stand to get the fourth one. You don't have to leave the practice, nah, nah, nah. You just get four every time you go in there. And sometimes you'll get the team practice, which will give you two additional drills. And then after that, you can go do the four. But the team drills, you don't get to pick what you're working on. The coach is just gonna pick them. Also, a lot of the drills have been redone and they're a lot easier this year. They make more sense, less stress, more fun, making the grind easier for the badges. You're also gonna be able to earn these my points, this XP, no matter what you're playing. NBA, park, cages, Jordan Rec Center, events. You're gonna get a big bonus in my points when you win a game and if you have a good teammate grade and if you beat stronger opponents. The Gatorade training facility is still gonna give you that little turbo boost. Speaking of boost, you can start using boost right away in the neighborhood. You don't have to worry about missing an option in a cutscene or in a text message. You can just walk right over there and buy your boost. Everybody can get it. The My Animations menu has been redone. Everything is in one place. It's laid out more cleanly. It's a lot easier to make your changes. And just like your clothes, you can just load right into that menu. You don't have to walk back to your house to change your clothes or change your animations. You just do it right there on the fly. Next up, the career objectives. Whenever you load into the game, the main snapshot page for your player, there's gonna be an active objective to chase and it's gonna let you know what your main focus is gonna be outside of improving your players. So some examples could be 
Maybe you're a bench warmer, you're trying to get more minutes, or maybe you're getting minutes, but now you're trying to get into the starting lineup, or maybe you're trying to get into the all-star voting, or you're trying to move up in the standings or clinch a playoff spot or win a playoff series, etc. Now check this out. If you have a good enough season, you could become the all-star captain for all-star weekend and you get to pick your team from everybody that makes it. We're not exactly sure what the NBA is going to do this season when it comes to the all-star game, but this is pretty dope that you could actually get to pick your team like they did it last year. Next up, we've got to talk about fans and teammate chemistry. There is now a direct feedback, letting you know when you gain or lose fans or even your teammate chemistry going down. It could be a play that you do on the court. It could be an answer that you give in a press conference. It could be an interview that Shaq gives you or David Aldridge at halftime or at the end of the game. It could be whenever you're inviting teammates to your my court or when you're attending team practices your fans are going to lead directly to your endorsements which of course will lead directly to vc by doing events for companies and this comes about every 10 games or so and they give you in-game incentive bonuses that you can choose so in the past let's say you had an endorsement what if you're a rebounding center and then it says well if you make this many threes so now you get to actually decide when you're negotiating the contract what you want your incentive to be. There's going to be a list and you get to pick which ones you want to add to your contract and to your deal so that every time you get one of those big games, which comes every 10 games or so, then you can get extra VC for completing them. And there's also sponsor specific perks like you might be able to get free shoes or you can get a discount at Foot Locker or you can even get free Gatorade Energy Boost. Your marketability rating matters and it's impacted by highlight plays, awards and records, and doing things in nationally televised games to raise your profile. Your teammate chemistry is actually very important because it leads to unlocking the team takeover feature, which happens when you get 50% teammate chemistry or above. So when this happens, you get to control the entire team. If you can get that meter filled up all the way and you have this unlocked, my career will then turn into basically a 5v5 where you can control all five players. You can do whatever you want. You can move players anywhere. You can run whatever plays you want. Obviously, this is only for a limited time because this is when you're on fire and when you're in takeover mode, but your entire team is going to be on fire as well. So that's going to be that that's going to create some crazy gameplay, especially when you're playing on higher difficulties and especially in the playoffs. You're going to need this in order to be able to compete and take down teams like the Golden State Warriors because they got DeMarcus Cousins. They were already difficult to deal with in my career. And now when they added Cousins, you need this takeover system to help you down the stretch. This is going to be crazy. There's also a new VIP stats tracking feature and it's going to track it against all the different game modes in my career from NBA games to the Jordan wreck to the cages to cruise to park there will be leaderboards so you can see where you stand compared to your friends and there's also going to be leaderboards for the Gatorade training facility exercises as part of 2k compete I've already talked about the daily bonus but sometimes you can also get clothing and other surprises when you spin that wheel. And there's also going to be a daily bonus where every day there's going to be a different task to complete and you'll get extra VC. So one of them might be you need to win a few games today and you can achieve these stats by playing any game mode in my career. There's so much to do. It's going to keep you busy. This video is sponsored by NBA 2K.